Hi, I am currently writing a book. I want you to wish me luck. What's the story of the book? First, what's the title of the book? Because most of the time you can guess the story through the title. The story, the, the title, sorry, my bad, is Romantic Diary of a Field Pimp. I don't know, you like it or not? So, maybe, okay. It's a thoughtful pimp, you know, like the, the one who is wandering with some philosophy around the world, you know, and it's like um, expressing his thoughts, thoughts about life, about his relationship with people, friends, women, his woman, love, what is love, wondering what is love. So it's all about that, you know, and I am browsing through the 160 pages right now, and I'm just like wondering if it's good or not I have more things to add but basically what's the story the story is a man with the logical thinking just going straight to the point and wondering a lot because he understanding that most people don't go through logic and then he's like how to get it how to get it and how to have fun having my time, what's the purpose of life, all these goals, questions, deep questions, you know, all the things you wonder. So it's a spiritual book about the, um, the guy who would like to be a bad boy, would like to be a pimp deep down, but he's not succeeding very well. So he's wondering the notion of money and work and everything. And then he's understanding, this is not about work, this is about monetizing. Oh, then he understood. He took example took inspiration as a good feminist from some women themselves the women who just how to say say my body my choice and is, are making a lot of money through platforms like OnlyFans for example so they say oh my god I'm so jealous I wish I could be the same they're so right to do so I want to do the same and then he's having a great idea because he's still not understanding uh, women and uh, his relationships with women and how to have a genuine and logical relationships with women and then he understands logic is a prostitute logic is just you do this I get that I do this you get that give and take as we say so in this synagogmatic movement he's thinking that maybe he should just pretend to be gay to get money, getting inspiration from the girls he's desiring so much, to then sell through this online platform, like OnlyFans and all, his body, understanding this is not about working, this is about prostituting something, your brain or your body, genitals, to flex and everything, so it's like uh, trying to flex as much as possible. And then he's understanding, wow, money is coming, he's making money, so he becomes even more cynical that he feels he's interesting only through that way, in this over-sexualized over world and everything. So he feels deep down, kind of talentless, you know, and then he wondered. He advised his own girlfriend, you should do it. Don't worry, I am out of the box. I'm not gonna involve some morality, be jealous, tell you what to do deep, deep down and all of this. Actually... He tried to pimp his own girlfriend, he told her what to do, he advised her, he did some researches, how she would promote properly her only fans and everything. And he was as a strange, a strange competitor to her because they were both targeting men, like the sims, they are called the so-called sims, who cares actually, just men willing to pay anything for a few pictures, establishing an e-relationship with, uh, with them, with him or her whatever and then he got it then he wondered maybe instead of wondering what is love what are relationships the expectations like what is in the mind and everything maybe I should just be as gay as possible online and have sex with as many women as possible offline through cheap hoes potentially he wondered is this logic is this the right recipe for life maybe this is a very interesting thing to do John is like, yeah, should I really put capitalism as a lubricant around uh, my genitals and so on? He's like, ah, 
because he's still having this anti-capitalist background. It's, it, it's hard for him to be anti-capitalist and everything. He can't. So he's learning to become uh, like properly capitalist. So it's like a capitalist meditation, self-introspection, capitalist meditation. And then he's wondering, mm, I think I can do it, but I should never give up. I should never give up showing my ass. I should never give up and so on <laughs> and then he's understanding this circle between uh, money and uh, seduction and uh, envy like desire with the frustration coming out of it and then he's taking an internship in center of the prostitution in the world like the, the um, pilgrimage of a wholeness and uh, he's going to Pattaya to understand more about what types of behaviors may lead him to do some lead generate, convert the lead generate to, into potential customers and so on. And he's understanding they are in a waiting position, just waiting by the street. And he's too impatient to just wait, do nothing. And he doesn't want to wait because it's all going on online in a very fast world. He's of course not gay, so he's actually, he doesn't think, ooh, but he's like, okay. Whew. I need to be gay friendly because I'm gay money friendly and that would be good so of course he has no he has no problem with gays normally because he got some friends who are gay but now he's getting flirted by the gays in a very sexual way he has to be happy about that even if deep down he's like this is like not my cup of tea so then he's thinking Delegating, he took example from Adam Smith, Ricardo, you know, and then Taylor, like uh, for the, with the Fordism, division of work and everything. So he's delegating his work to who? One of his gay friends. We will take a 40% commission and so on. So it all comes the whole capitalism about how to target the gays. Using someone who will be genuinely excited about it through his uh, biology, psychology, whatever, like because that's not his cup of tea. And then he's delegating, dividing work. So it's a whole entrepreneurial journey on uh, how to make as much money as he can in this uh, very capitalistic, cynical world. And then day by day going, purchasing, or just chasing actually, per chasing, <laughs> uh, chasing mostly, not purchasing, but maybe the shortcut is to purchase the long way, ways to chase. And then, uh, girls who have this very capitalist approach, even offline with him, which frustrates him. He's like, I want to turn around and talk, la 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 la, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, blah, 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 yeah, whatever. So he gets frustrated this way. So that's how it turns in a sort of Ouroboros between the Alpha and the Omega that will make you thoughtful about relationship with women, with money, with work itself, the notion of hard work. Should it be hard or smart? Should we show we suffer in order to be accepted by our peers who are also suffering but through work and when we do stuff that are quite easy or just good for you that only for you actually should you pretend you regret to prove you have some sort of morality so it's also comparing with some religions the catholic background uh, and next to other religions more living in the moment like buddhism and so on so that's like the whole philosophical journey of a wannabe logical character. I hope it brings you some thoughts. If you have any reactions, like wish me luck. So, okay, this is how it's going on, you know. Tuck, 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 tuck. Okay, wish me luck. Okay. Cheers. Thank you for following.